Hi everyone. So April Fool's Day is coming, and this would be a great idea to play a prank on your family or friends by making food that looks like other food. So in this video, I will be showing you how to make a fake grilled cheese. It's super easy to make, and all you need is pound cake, yellow frosting, and ground cinnamon. So first, I will show you how to make pound cake. You can skip this part if you just plan on buying pound cake from the store, otherwise you can make your own at home. So for the pound cake, you will need 1.5 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 and 1 fourth cups of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, 3 4 teaspoons of baking powder, 2 teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, 1 cup or 2 sticks of unsalted butter, and 4 eggs. So in your mixer, you want to place your softened butter and sugar and beat until fluffy. Then beat in the eggs, one at a time. Next, beat in the salt and baking powder. And then the vanilla extract. Finally, slowly add the flour into the mixer and mix until everything is incorporated. You do not want to overmix this. Take out your loaf pan and either spray baking spray into the pan or grease it with butter and flour, making sure to tap out any excess flour. Then pour your batter into the loaf pan and then put it in the oven and bake for an hour or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. After it has baked, invert the cake into a wire rack, turn it right side up and let it cool completely. Now that you have your pound cake ready, let's get to the actual food prank. You will need buttercream frosting and yellow food coloring. Mix yellow food coloring into the frosting and mix until you get a cheesy color. Take your pound cake and flip it so it's on the long side. Cut it in half and then start cutting the pound cake into slices. This makes it look like it's real bread. Now, take some ground cinnamon and with your clean hands or brush, rub cinnamon on top of the pound cake slice so it looks like the bread is toasted. Another option is to actually put the pound cake into the toaster and let it toast that way. That, this way is probably better because it's actually toasted and you don't have to waste your cinnamon or if you don't like cinnamon. Take two slices of the pound cake and then spread yellow frosting in between the slices. Be messy, make it look like the cheese is melting on the side, and then cut them diagonally and there you have it. Who said you can't play with your food? I hope you guys liked this video, thank you guys so much for watching.